think for me the most important part about astronomy is trying to understand um, what humans are and what is our place in the relative larger cosmos. Um, mainly because there's just so much we don't understand and I'm so interested in trying to understand the little ways that the universe evolves and how uh, we relate to those in our everyday life. I'm Keith Hawkins and I love science. I love astronomy. And I think that the reason why I say it that way is because that is my passion in life. That is what draws me uh, to doing the things that I do. I grew up in a, in a middle class family. Um, I'm the youngest of five children um, with two parents, so there's a total of seven of us. And um, I have a twin brother, Kevin. I also have two sisters, Jasmine and Tonda, and um, an a older brother, Daryl. Kevin is my competitor and my twin, and uh, I don't know, he keeps me going. So Kevin and I were both adopted about one. And I mean, for me, it came down to my biological mother at the time could not afford to take care of us. We don't really remember what happened, but um, it's cool to think that you know you can be adopted into such a loving family and they can give you not only the love but the resources to succeed. My parents worked very, very hard. I remember days where my mom would go in at four o'clock in the morning and get off at eight o'clock at night. I remember days where we would get, you know, a foot of snow and my dad would still be out there delivering mail and, while I was sitting in a warm school. So I really admire that work ethic. I think the initial spark of thinking like a scientist really came from my mom, who, when we got in trouble, used to have us debate our way out of being in trouble. And my mom always had us thinking critically about things just because of the way she was with us and that that allowed me to think like a scientist. In fifth grade I sat next to this girl who used to check out encyclopedias of astronomy and just look at the pictures because she thought they were very cool and beautiful pictures. Using that experience I got to really talk to her. And the following year she moved away and the way I reminded myself of her was by checking out these encyclopedias of astronomy and looking at the pictures. And um, by looking at the pictures, I slowly began to read captions, and captions turned into chapters, and chapters turned into books, and then finally, I really became very interested in the field of astronomy. During my uh, sophomore year of high school, I completed a science fair project on supermassive black holes, which got me to the state science fair, uh, where I competed for the Ohio University Excellence in Astronomy Award. And that's where I met Dr. Bocher. Uh, he was actually my judge. Dr. Bocher contacted me after that and asked me if I'd be interested in coming to Ohio University to do research for the summer. Kevin and I chose to go to different colleges from the get-go, primarily because we wanted to get out of each other's shadows. We wanted to allow ourselves to grow as individuals rather than growing together as twins. One of the main reasons why I came to Ohio University is because of the honors tutorial program that we have here, um, which uh, we refer to as the HTC. It's modeled after the old Oxford and Cambridge system of tutorials where students really do the bulk of their learning uh, by taking one-on-one uh, -on -one tutorials between the student and the faculty member to get that one-on-one -on -one kind of self-guided interaction uh, that will allow me to learn physics at a deeper level and at a level that I want to learn it. With Dr. Brocher, I've learned an incredible amount. I've learned a lot about his research interest, which is blazar physics and high energy astrophysics. But I've also learned a lot about stars. I've learned a lot about kind of what it means to be a good astronomer. What does it mean to have good, solid practices as an observing astronomer and even as a theorist? One of my main goals as I move on to graduate school and beyond is to raise the number of underrepresented groups in science, in particular astronomy. I recently found out that uh, from Dr. John Johnson at Caltech that the rate of African Americans getting PhDs in astronomy is half per year. One half, so that's, that's 0.5 per year PhDs in, that are African American in astronomy. That is an incredibly low number. If we could focus more attention on you know, making uh, more equal opportunities, minority students and multicultural students as well, in the sciences especially, we'd have a lot more qualified scientists. We'd have a lot higher 
science literacy rate here in the U.S. and just imagine the amount of technology that we can develop as a world leading country if we had more science literate people in the U.S. I want kids to know that science is cool. That you can be a scientist and still have fun. That being a scientist doesn't make you awkward, it doesn't make you strange, it makes you inquisitive and that it's cool, it's sexy, so you should be a scientist.